It is time to update the solar polar magnetic fields data. It feels like so long ago that the September 2017 uptick on the sun occurred. It's been a slow, low sunspot cycle minimum. What we're waiting for is what you see here, solar activity, specifically the return of sunspot maximum. There has been much confusion on this topic. After our examinations earlier in the decade of the evidence suggesting a grand solar minimum was coming, a flood of channels and blogs on the grand solar minimum began popping up, and there is unfortunately overzealousness for this science, manifest as anxiousness to see the grand solar minimum occur, or at least tell everyone it's about to. It is coming later this century, but not quite yet. And let's begin with the dozens of forecasts from NASA scientists, professors, etc. from around the world. The full range of predictions of maximum sunspot number for this upcoming solar cycle 25 is broad, from a near collapse of the cycle to a major off-the-chart cycle. However, 95% of the forecasts fall within a much more narrow range, somewhere approximately where the current cycle maxed out a few years ago, maybe a bit higher or lower, but much the same, which would be another weak cycle on that march towards grand minimum possibly suggesting it could come after this cycle, in cycle 26. But let's see how the last three sunspot cycles played out, including the one currently in the process of ending here at the minimum of sunspot activity. As you can see, they are on a descending strength trend here the last three cycles. These cycles peaked in 1990, 2001, and 2012, each 11 years apart. The Wilcox Solar Observatory at Stanford began monitoring the solar polar magnetic field data in the late 1970s. Now, for those unfamiliar with this chart, let's quickly describe. The blue curve shows the north polar magnetic field strength of the sun. The red shows the south. The yellow is the total field magnetism, north and south combined. And the vertical axis goes both positive and negative around the zero baseline found running through the middle of the chart as opposed to along the bottom. The blue and red curves have annual variability, the small ups and downs due to Earth's going 7 degrees north and south of the solar equator each year, but the larger curves of the blue and red, the ones that cross each other about every decade, represent the magnetic cycle of the sun that underlies the sunspot cycle, reversing its sunspot maximum. Let me plot those sunspot maxima on here. Now, on the left side, we do not have enough data to compare the cycle in the early 80s. We need about six or seven more years of data. But we can easily see the polar field magnetism, which reverses across the lower latitudes every 11 years, is indicative of the intensity of the sunspots that appear there when they cross. Now, on the right side is where we are now, and you can see it's looking very much like the last cycle. So let's zoom in there. This is why most forecasters fall in that same range, questioning whether or not the next cycle could be much different than the one we're ending now. And also, we see here why I believe there is evidence beginning of the grand minimum coming not long thereafter. First, the amplitude of magnetic power, the one locked now mostly at the poles, but which will reverse soon across low latitudes, bringing more sunspots and transequatorial coronal holes with them, is going to be of about the same power as we had going into last cycle, or the one we're ending now. But do you also see how we really stumbled out of the gate? No annual amplitude variation, very weak strength overall. If that had continued, both the cycle pattern breakage and the ultra-weak strength, I would be questioning whether or not grand minimum was upon us now. In fact, I said as much back in 2015, before the wave pattern and higher strength returned. But today is a different day. The solar polar fields do not show what they did the first few years of this polar field cycle, and it's not an additive scoreboard. Where you are at the end is all that matters, and the sun is as strong as it was heading into the current cycle. Sunspots will return in all likelihood just off of this chart, and while I do think there is evidence that we'll see its building back at some point in 2020, as I have mentioned many times on the channel, if it would happen to be 2021, it wouldn't exactly be a brain breaker either. The point is that we've got the next cycle on its way. It's been a deep low minimum for a few years, kind of like before this last solar maximum began. The grand minimum is still forecast for later this century, but as I said, just not quite yet. I'll see you in the morning. Eyes open. No fear.
Be safe, everyone.